Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our True Wireless Bud Roundup. This is for the Galaxy S20 Ultra, S20 Plus and the S20. And you're thinking, okay, look, I just picked up one of these devices. I need some True Wireless Buds. Uh, and here is, of course, your Roundup that should have come in the end of February, short month, but hey, it is what it is. So I've got a ton of wireless buds here and I think you're gonna like them. Um, and a few, a few you're thinking of, but I'm gonna start off with the Hi-Fi Man True Wireless 600 or TWS 600. Now this come in a, an eggshell like case, an interesting case the way it opens up. It's kind of like the split open mechanism. And when you open up the case, so you have the Hi-Fi Man TWS 600 in there. Now, if you don't know who Hi-Fi Man are, they are, um, a headphone company that makes some really premium headphones, like a thousand bucks stuff, like really expensive stuff. But these retail for $99. You can find it for 79 bucks uh, on Amazon. All links will be down in the description. Now the, the earbuds themselves have this rugged look and feel to them. Uh, they are water and dust resistance. You can use them in the gym and they've got physical buttons, uh, tactile buttons to basically press. Now, when you take them out in terms of fit, they fit really well and snug. Now, the other thing I do like about them is the fact that they also have multiple tips that you can change and use while you're uh, trying to fit into your ear. And like I said, the fit is pretty easy. There's a physical button and all that stuff is really fun. Now, what happens about the audio quality? Well, these sound really nice. They've got really great highs. I think the highs are really good. The mids are a little bit soft for me here and the, and the lows are okay, but the highs really excel with these quite well. And I like the way they actually portray. So if you're looking for something, if you listen to tracks that have a lot of highs, uh, maybe some balanced lows um, and uh, you know, mids are not more of your concern, then these do a fantastic job. Battery life, you're looking at 38.5 hours uh, in total and 5.5 with each use. You also have a charging indicator on the case as well. So that's the Hi-Fi Man TWS 600. Now, the next pair that I'm actually gonna pick up are from um, uh, Soundcore. These are the Soundcore Life P2s. I really like them. They've got that uh, typical iPhone or AirPods uh, styling to them, but they are really, really nice. So these are, are all black. Uh, they come in a black case, as you can see clearly. USB type C charging. You've got uh, uh, 10 minutes of charge will give you an hour of use. Altogether, I've got about 40 hours of playback time in total, and this is fully waterproof IP67. So you can use in the gym, swim, you know, or at least get wet and you'll be fine. Now, pricing is only 59 bucks. So in terms of pricing, it's actually relatively cheap. And in terms of codex, it supports Aptex uh, codex as well. So for me, I'm quite happy with that. Now, when it comes to the audio quality, this is really nice. It's got some, it's got a, a lot of lows there. So if you like your bass, you would like this much more. Uh, the highs, not so much. The mids are, are actually quite good. Uh, in terms of playback, you're looking at seven hours per use with them. Uh, and they fit quite well. They've got physical buttons on them uh, in terms of touch. Now it's got four microphones and the microphones work out really well. So when you're having conversations and calls, they do a really good job there with the microphone. The graphing drivers is also solid. And I've got to say though, like Soundcore has been doing a really good job in giving us new wireless buds from month to month. Again, only 59 bucks. So I definitely cannot complain about that. So next up are the Tautronics Sound Liberty 79. So these are, we just retail for about $50. These are super, super nice. Uh, they've got a relatively small case, full footprint. You've got battery indicator in the front and of course USB type C charging with them as well. So that's great. In terms of uh, playback time, you're looking at 40 hours with the case and eight hours in total for these. IP67, so they are, again, they are, you know, you can use them in the gym, get splash of water, all that fun stuff here. Now, in terms of the earbuds themselves, they've got different ear tips and they've got winglets as well. So they actually clip into your ear, which make them stay relatively well, even if you're not using the right uh, ear tips for them. But I do like them now. When it comes to sound, these sound really, really good. You're gonna enjoy using them and they're relatively small. So when you put them in your ears, they fit 
and then they've got uh, tactile control. It's a little bit of a touch control situation. Uh, can be a bit finicky. That's the only downside I would say, but it works well. Um, the microphones also are really solid having conversations. People can hear you clearly. They're not noise canceling, so you might have some issues outside, but the audio quality is really good. I mean, some really nice highs and lows um, and the mids a bit crushed, but they come out well. I was really surprised for the price point. Again, $50 for this. I mean, there are two different colors. One's like 54, one's 50. Uh, you really can't go wrong with these Tautronics. I think you're going to definitely love them uh, for uh, true wireless buds. Now, next up, a pair of true wireless buds from Oppo. These are the Oppo Encore Free. Now, I really like the case for these. They retail for about $129, um, and it opens really well. It comes with a couple of ear tips that help for a better fit. Now, they kind of like the AirPod style without the proper tips. So for me, they just don't fit well in my ear. Uh, that's just something to I just that just happens with them. Now the left one which fits well for me, the right one not so much. But that being said though, I've got to say the audio quality really blew me away on these. They sounded really, really good. Some really rich sound, very clean, very sharp. I mean, all the way through, I was quite impressed. And the microphone is absolutely solid. You're going to love the microphones on this as well. When it comes to um, battery life, you're looking at five hours for each of the ear tips and then 20 hours with the case as well. And you've got touch controls on the side so you can actually tap uh, to actually play or pause or answer phone calls. But I'm, I'm, I'm serious, like I wanna see more from Alpro. Hopefully they change the design, uh, but I really like the way they sound. I think they come out pretty strong and pretty clear. So next up are the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. Now the Buds Plus, of course, are the latest Galaxy Buds from Samsung, and they have a couple of new features. Besides new colors, they're four in total. Uh, what you do have here is something that, of course, charges via USB Type-C and also has wireless charging. So this is one of the few ones here that has wireless charging, and they have probably the best fit of any true wireless buds out there in the market. Really small, comfortable, and snug, and very unintrusive in design. Now, what you have here is something, the battery life, you're looking at 11 hours with uh, each, uh, with using just the earbuds themselves, and 11 hours in the case. Give you about 22, not as long as the others, but a long time using it just at, at, at a go. Now, audio quality has been really solid. It's much richer, it's clearer. The highs also come up much cleaner, and they've got the app EQs that you can play around with to give you more functionality and more audio breath with these. They're tuned by AKG and they're priced at about 149. The noise isolation of these are really good. There's no noise canceling, but I can tell you if you're on the train, these do a really good job in just blocking out a lot of noise and a lot of people just making noise on the train. Absolutely love them and they are really fast in pairing. Actually, in all, in all honesty, almost every other um, you know, true wireless buds here have really fast pairing altogether. And last but not least are the one more true wireless ANC. These bad boys here have, of course, active noise cancellation and uh, one more really, really excels in audio. Now, these of course have different ear tips and you can actually uh, change to fit and there's also winglets to fit you properly. They've got a nice case that has uh, wireless charging and also USB Type-C charging. Uh, and you're looking at roughly uh, close to about 40 hours with the case uh, and about six hours listening time with the earbuds. Audio quality is really good. I mean, the highs, the mids, the lows come out well. Uh, the mids a bit on the lower side for me. The highs don't push out as much as I would like, uh, but it's got a really warm sound. And trust me, when you listen to music with this, you're really gonna feel welcome and at home. It has this very warm feeling to it. Um, the active noise cancellation is great. It's got two levels. You basically tap on your, your right, uh, uh, earbud for one level and tap again for the second level or actually turn it off. And then there are buttons at the very top that allow you to pause, play, increase volume and things like that. So you've got a lot of functionality built into, to, into these. They're priced at $199, I have got to say though. Uh, for $199 with active noise cancellation, uh, true wireless functionality, these are really good. Now the microphone is good. Uh, it's not great, but it's got a good microphone. So if your voice calls come out well. So here you have it guys. I think you will find that all of these sound really good and they cover different price points. We have stuff all the way at $50 and all the way to $199. Something that finds your price point for true wireless buds that will hit you 
uh, so well when you start listening. So if you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.